So in this video, we're going to be creating this image using the grass blade add-on and also the vegetation add-on. Link in the description. So I downloaded this mansion off Sketchfab, link in the description for free. Let's use the vegetation add-on as well as the grass blade add-on to uh, give this scene some extra life. Mm, I'm going to go dry grasses. I am going to make this a bit of a green field. So let's go ahead down the bottom. Maybe something like mm, a natural field. Let's go this one here. And I'm gonna turn on the proxy. So when I go load, and so I've just scaled up the building and we'll keep this ground material, I mean, uh, set up. What I am gonna do is just select the ground plane, come over into materials, new material, we'll make the base color like a brownie color. Let's bring down the specularity, turn the roughness up. And there we go. We've now kind of got this worn out grassy path. Excellent. Now what I am going to do is I'm just going to disable the viewport for all these objects just so it's not screaming out in pain. The next thing I want to do is draw a path. So let's go tab into edit mode. I'm going to go subdivide and uh, we'll do it a few times. From here, I'm going to select our layers and we'll come into paint. And then I'm just going to kind of draw where I don't want any of the grasses to be. So we'll have something like that. And maybe we'll have it just kind of like around here. Now the thing is, is that uh, we got to do it for each of the grasses. So back into object mode. Uh, let's do our second one, paint. And then I'll just kind of do the same. And then this will kind of allow as if the grasses are growing at different rates as well. And we'll get this one and paint. Then we just kind of around the house like so. I think I did it justice. Let's go into object mode, turn everything on. Nice, and now we've got that nice clean path. We could probably put a little bit more of a dirt material on there, but she'll be right, mate. Turning everything off, let's get our camera set up. Shift A, I'm gonna go into adding a camera. Control, Alt, Numpad, Zero. We'll set the camera to be uh, where my current view is. So if we kind of maybe... We're doing an Instagram post. So let's go into the render size, 2048 by 2048. And so this is what we're basing our scene off. Let's just check one last time before we walk away without the grass. We do have that cut bit in the middle there. Perfect. Let's go ahead and start throwing in some vegetation. From here, I kind of want to add some plants creeping up the wall. So maybe a vine plant. Let's do this one. Shift right click and put that 3D cursor there. Make sure we've got the cursor selected. I'm going to link the asset. I don't want to append the asset. And we're just going to plop it in like so. Maybe let's do one more as well. Let's go like so. Rotate Z 90. How's that looking? Is it up against the wall? And maybe we'll just bring it down into the ground. Just having a look. It's not really protruding. There we go. And then we'll do the same here. Nice. We do have variations of the plant as well. Um, so we've got another vine plant here that we could probably overgrow. Let's maybe plop it just there. Link that asset. Yeah, do we see it? We don't really see it. So I'm just going to move it over a bit. And let's kind of scale that up. There we go. That looks that looks pretty cool. So it's already given us a little bit of extra life. I mean, we could always come back and use the vine generator as well to really go high up those walls. But I'm not going to be too concerned about that just yet. Now, I reckon we can throw probably an ash tree in. Let's maybe throw this tree in. I don't know what it is. Mm, I don't... Mm, that doesn't fit the scene this time around. An old oak summer tree. This is now starting to remind me a little bit of Forrest Gump. Uh, great film when it first came out. Actually, still is a great film. Beautiful. Let's now kind of just reposition that tree in there. Uh, I'm going to shift D, Y, oops, let's go Y on the back, and there we go. What I will do 
is maybe just select this outside edge, O for proportional editing, GZ. Just so we've got that, and then I'm just gonna... So, move it around with the proportional editing tool, just so it's not kind of like a completely flat land. At the back here, we could probably make it a bit more prominent. Something like that. Yeah, there we go. And now we've lost that edge, which is perfect. I do feel like we could probably put some shrubs down the bottom here. So let's have a look. Maybe this little plant. Let's append that. Shift right click and we'll throw in a second version. Shift D to duplicate. And then I can go G, Shift Z. And it's just going to move it on the X and the Y plane. And we'll probably put that one there as well. Let's give it a bit of a rotation. That's, that's not bad. I think that is looking quite nice as it is. Let's give it some variation. I do like these hanging plants, but does it fit in this scene? I don't think so. I did create this scene here, which is on the Instagram. And there's one of my 3D scanned assets that I put in. So if you're not following over there, go jump over. Um, but I really wanted to just show you what these hanging assets look like. And that's, that's pretty cool. I do kind of want some sort of plants down here or even like a weed or something. So let's do another quick scroll through. I mean, we've got rocks that we can add a bush. Go on, just a, just a good old bush. Let's just throw that in. And you have to remember that we are only looking at the summer collection, uh, where obviously if we went into spring, uh, you can see that they're kind of textured a little bit differently. So green, a little bit less green. Uh, the autumn is a bit yellow and the white is winter. So I'm thinking maybe we put this in here as well. I don't want to be blocking that path. So let's go link that asset. There we go. Let's now check that out. What's it looking like? Let's bring our grasses black. So back into grass blade. Turn the grasses all on. Please don't die, computer. I'm sorry. Yeah, wow. we got two more things to do before we finish off this scene. I am going to select the glass and I'm just going to add some roughness to it. Yeah, nice. Uh, the next thing I will do is also add in a cube. And we're going to make this cube absolutely massive. Beautiful. We're now inside the cube. Let's now come over into shading over into object with the cube selected let's go into a new material delete that principal bdsf we're going to go into a volume scatter dump that into there let's bring it down the volume density to 0.2 that's still too much 0.002 the anastrophe periphery we're going to bring that to about 0.9 there we go and so what that's doing now is hopefully going to create some god rays when we go to render it so let's go back into layout let's just press f12 i think what's missing is that everything is too clear so let's go back into the scene and probably put a uh, depth of field and we'll put it on the house here somewhere and then hopefully that'll kind of like obscure this bit and some of the trees so let's do that with the camera selected over into depth of field and I'm just gonna click the front door. Um, let's maybe go, rather than 2.8, let's go two. Let's jump into panoramic and fisheye equisolid, yes please. Lens will be 50, I believe. And we we'll just go into the render view. What that's gonna do is actually kind of like curve the render a little bit so maybe we can increase that to 70 too much now 55 i am semi thinking what happens if we rotate oh, i kind of want to rotate the tree um, the sun a little bit more but i do like how it's being illuminated just here i'm going to change the f-stop a little bit more so we get to have a little bit more of that uh, depth of field happening as well let's duplicate this tree shift d and we're just going to move it out back g to the z off to the side and it's kind of like as if these trees are off into the distance 
because we're just trying to cover that hole a little bit. I think that might work out well. All right, let's press F12 and see what happens. And then we have it. That's 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 quite a nice scene. Now we don't really see the path down the bottom there, but I reckon that's okay. I like it. Let me know what you think.